afternoon everybody. I hope you're keeping really well today. Uh, welcome to OTT's Coffee Break webinars where we hope you're going to feel really uplifted and inspired over the next 20 minutes. <clears throat> Our Coffee Break webinars are designed to offer you a different way to experience destinations, cultures and supplier products. Our guest presenters will be teaching you something different and entertaining for you to learn. Some of these webinars may be live from another country as they are today. We're actually off to Canada. Very exciting. We'll be running these webinars on a Tuesday or a Thursday. And so to help you remember this, we've called them hashtag training Tuesdays and hashtag training Thursdays. These webinars will be predominantly at 11 a.m. However, some webinars might be at 3 p.m. as they are today to catch other time zones for the live training. So just bookmark our webinar page to ensure you don't miss out. All our sessions are recorded and you'll be able to watch it back or share it with colleagues. If you're new to webinars, you'll see a chat button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we'd love you to read uh, the comments as we go through the webinar and also contribute to them. And uh, we'll also be running a Q&A towards the end of, of the webinar too. So just pop your questions into the Q&A button and uh, we can answer them uh, for you. Right, so now you know all about uh, OTT Coffee Break webinars. I'm just gonna say hello. Hello, hi, I'm Julia from OTT and I hope you've got your, your cup of coffee or your cup of tea this afternoon, maybe a biscuit as well to enjoy as we go along. And uh, I have great pleasure in introducing Kelly Keefe. Uh, she is the Atlantic Canada representative for the UK market. Um, hello, Kelly. She's going to be presenting uh, this afternoon's uh, Coffee Break webinar. Hi, Julia, and hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for this opportunity to present uh, an introduction to Atlantic Canada. And I would ask you, I'm just going to, the star of the show today is Chef Ellen, the Kilted Chef, who will give us a, a training session on how to create the perfect lobster roll and a lobster Caesar. But first, I'll just give a quick introduction to Atlantic Canada, and then I would encourage you to also take the Atlantic Canada Academy on the OTT platform if you have not already. So first, the basics. Where is Atlantic Canada? We are located on the east coast of Canada, and we're made up of the four beautiful provinces of New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. We're actually the closest destination from the UK to all of North America. And we find, although we're maybe the lesser known place of Canada, we find that we're gaining a reputation as a wonderful place to visit due to the welcoming nature of the locals. And the best time to visit uh, for UK travelers is anytime from May until October. And so I I thought I would start this morning with a quick video showcasing some of the beautiful scenery on offer throughout Atlantic Canada. <laughs> some amazing whale watching opportunities all along the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, off the coast of Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia, and of course in the Bay of Fundy, which is between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. We also have opportunities to see many different types of wildlife in their natural environment, including black and brown bears, polar bears in Newfoundland and Labrador only, moose, caribou, deer, and more. The region is famous for its fresh and abundant seafood, including mussels, scallops, salmon, crabs, clams, and more. 
And for many, lobster is the king of the sea. And Chef Elam will show you a little bit more about that later. In fact, lobster is Atlantic Canada's most valuable seafood export. And the best way to enjoy it is to actually visit us in Atlantic Canada and enjoy it in one of the many fabulous restaurants we have throughout the region. We have 43,000 kilometers of coastline in Atlantic Canada. Prince Edward Island is famous for its beaches. On the north shore of Prince Edward Island, we have the white sandy beaches and large sand dunes. On the south shore of the island, we have the famous red cliffs and warm water for swimming. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia share the Bay of Fundy, which is home to the highest tides in the world at 50 feet. On the New Brunswick side of the bay, you can actually walk on the ocean floor at Hopewell Rocks, and then just 60, and then just six hours later, kayak the same spot, but up to 50 feet higher. So in the Bay of Fundy, uh, the highest tides in the world, we actually, it circulates 160 billion tons of water every six hours. On the Nova Scotia side of the bay, you can meet the tidal bore in a Zodiac boat, and this is a really fun adventure. Newfoundland and Labrador is famous for iceberg view viewing. So in the springtime, the icebergs parade along the coast uh, at a place we called Iceberg Alley. And the best time for iceberg viewing is in uh, April in the northern parts of the province into early July in the southern parts of the province. So you can actually view the icebergs from land by boat tour or by kayak. And after the excitement, you can indulge in iceberg water, vodka, beer, and award-winning um, iceberg vodka, which I already mentioned. We have many opportunities for outdoor adventures in Atlantic Canada. We actually have eight national parks in the region where you can enjoy sea kayaking, cycling, uh, tackle a challenging hike or a leisurely stroll and just enjoy nature. And we actually have four designated dark sky preserves in the region. And we find that stargazing is becoming a really popular activity, especially for those visitors from larger cities. And now I'd just like to pass it over to Sean McCafferty, Cafferty, who is the UK representative for WestJet. Sean? Hi, uh, thanks Kelly. Um, hi everyone. Um, some of you I might have met on the travels over the past couple of years, but for those of you who don't know me, I am the WestJet representative here in the UK. Um, so as many of you will know, we operate the only direct service from the UK to Halifax. So that's the principal airport for Atlantic Canada. During a normal year, we can fly direct from Glasgow, Dublin and London Gatwick. Um, I've put um, Gatwick Connects up here. For those of you who have customers who don't live near those airports, but you can get from your regional airport to Gatwick. It's a seven pound service. Your customers can check in at their local airport, pick up their bag in Gatwick, and then hand it to the representative um, at Gatwick so they don't have to go back out through security again with their bag. So it's a fantastic way for you to get your customers to um, Halifax via Gatwick. Um, so just a little bit about our service on board to Gat uh, from Gatwick to Halifax. It is slightly different from the, um, the, the, the aircraft that we use flying to places like Toronto or Vancouver or Calgary in so much if you're flying in economy, it's still a pay on board service. So just remind your customers that they will need to take their credit cards with them um, and they can buy the food on board. However, if they're flying in premium cabin, you can see there, uh, it's bigger, bigger seats, um, more leg room, more comfort, but everything is included in the, the, the price of their tickets. They'll get served um, a delicious hot meal. They'll be presented with sparkling wines and beers and champagnes. So it is a fantastic service that you can get on board there. Um, with the premium cabin, you have two pieces of baggage included in, in the fare. Um, and if you're booking a tour operator fare, there's one piece included for the economy cabin. Um, but all of this information is available on our OTT course, um, primarily in module number three. Um, so I think that's it really about, about WestJet. But what I, one thing I wanted to, to mention to you guys is that I actually had um, one of my life goals met last year when I went to Canada for the first time on holiday. Um, and I actually got to enjoy, 
a fantastic lobster dinner at Nova Scotia. This is just at the foot of the Peggy's Cove Lighthouse. And I also, memories from Kelly's video, standing in the Bay of Fundy at the, when the tide is missing. It's not there. You can see I am at the seabed, walking along the seabed. Absolutely fantastic experiences for, for you and your, your guests when you fly to Atlantic Canada with WestJet. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Sean. So now I would like to officially introduce our um, special guest today, Chef Alain Basset, also known as the Kilted Chef. So Chef Alain has traveled the world sharing his love of cooking local and with his signature Kilton tartan kilt and proud French Acadian heritage, Alain has earned the reputation as Atlantic Canada's culinary ambassador. Chef Alain runs a successful business in Nova Scotia, offering private cooking lessons, farm to sea to table experiences, virtual demo, demos, and also offers consultancy services for the hospitality industry. We are so happy to have him with us here today. So I'll pass it over to Chef Alain. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, everybody. Oh, so good afternoon, everybody. There you go. Sorry about that. Here I am. I thought somebody else was turning my camera on, not me. So I apologize. <laughs> Here I am live in my kitchen this morning with my friends, of course, the lobsters. And I'm happy to have you with us to join. We're going to do two quick recipes. One is a lobster roll, which I have. I took the liberty to take the lobster out of the shell, which I have beautifully displayed here. I've chopped up a little tiny bit of celery that goes in because you need that little crunch. That's one of the secret. The other secret is a little bit of scallions or greens. So I'm using some fresh chives from my garden this morning. I'm gonna chop it up very quickly, just like that. And into your lobster roll it goes. And a little bit of mayonnaise. And of course you need a real mayonnaise. Nice mix. You don't wanna put too much because you don't want that to take over the flavor of the actual recipe. So nice mixture, a little salt and pepper. It's that easy. A little bit of salt and we're done. Look, we're gonna mix that. I, we have traditionally here in Atlantic Canada hot dog buns that are actually split. So you butter them on each side so when you're eating your lobster roll, it gives you the allure of dipping fresh lobster in hot butter which is the best way to do, like Sean was saying, it is a treat. So I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach and I'm gonna just chop full of lobster, look at that. And that is a traditional lobster roll. Look how simple it is. Here's one, I'm gonna make a second one quickly. And then I'll start on a staple recipe, which is the Bloody Caesar. The Bloody Caesar is Canada's number one cocktail, but we're gonna add an Atlantic Canada twist to it. And that's what's really cool. We're gonna use the lobster to create that, ah, that Atlantic Canada flair. I was doing really, really good until I stumbled there, I apologize. Here's another beautiful lobster roll. And with the Caesar, it's simple. I pre-rimmed my mason jars. I'm gonna add a little bit of horseradish right into the middle. Horseradish will give us that extra zing that most Bloody Caesars don't have. A little Worcestershire sauce, tribute. There we go. And some hot sauce, very important, in the Caesar. Little titch, just a little tiny bit. Same on the other side. But the piece de resistance is some lobster vodka from Nova Scotia. Check this out, it's called Compass Vodka and it's infused with lobster. So it gives us that nice little touch. And of course it's cocktail hour time. It's five o'clock somewhere, lots of vodka. Finish it with some Clamato juice, clam juice, which is a staple for us. We sell over 6 million of these cocktails every year in Canada. So obviously Caesar is a big thing. So turning it into something Atlantic Canadian makes a big difference. It's always garnished with a little bit of celery or bean, 
but here's how we're going to make it Atlantic Canadian over the top. We're going to take one of the lobsters, we're going to take the claws off, and we're going to crack it so it's easy to open. Just like that. And that's what we're going to garnish our Caesar with. Check this out. That looks awesome to me. Hopefully it does to you. It entices you to come and visit us in Atlantic Canada. We're super friendly people. We love to have you come and see us. There it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Great. Thanks, Chef Ellen. Nice hat. I love it. So now's the fun part, and I hope everyone was paying attention. In the last few minutes, I'm going to share my video again. And we've got three quiz questions this morning. And I would encourage you to draft the email now using this email address, kkeith at tia. PEI.PE.CA. The first person to send all three correct answers will win a 100 pound gift voucher to Burger and Lobster, which is a small lobster chain in London, which exclusively serves Nova Scotia lobster. And then the next three people to send correct answers will win a WestJet mug, courtesy of Sean. So best of luck and let's get started with the quiz. Quiz question one. The Bay of Fundy is home to the world's highest tides at over 50 feet. Which two provinces in Atlantic Canada share this natural wonder? A, New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. B, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Or C, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador. Quiz question two. Witness majestic icebergs by boat tour, kayak, and from land. After the excitement, indulge in iceberg water, vodka, rum, gin, and even iceberg beer. Which province in Atlantic Canada offers these experiences? A, Nova Scotia, B, New Brunswick, C, Newfoundland and Labrador, or D, Prince Edward Island? And quiz question three. Atlantic Canada is world famous for its fresh and abundant seafood. Which of the popu following popular shellfish is Atlantic Canada's most valuable seafood export? A, mussels, B, lobster, or C, scallops? So if you could send that email to me now, and what we'll do is we'll, I'll pass it over to Julia and we'll open it up for some Q&A. And I'll be back to you in a couple of minutes to announce the winners. That, that was absolutely wonderful. And not only was that a fantastic cooking demonstration, of course, um, Chef Helen, but my goodness me, I wasn't expecting you, Kelly, to, <laughs> to have a lobster on your head and like talk seriously. <laughs> really that laughing. A surprise. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Um, it's definitely made everyone's afternoon. I'm absolutely certain of that. It's also made us quite hungry as well, I think. Um, but we're kind of almost near, we're probably nearer, what was it, five o'clock somewhere. And, you know, we're nearer to the five o'clock drink, the lobster vodka, which sounded just incredible. Um, and of course we're near to dinner. So yeah, thank you very, very much. So if anyone has any questions, now's the time to pop them into the Q&A. Um, and uh, certainly Kelly uh, or Chef Helen can answer them for you. Um, so in the meantime, Kenny, anything coming through from the chat? Not that I can see. Yeah, no, we haven't had anything come through. So we've had a few questions and queries um, in regards to flights. Um, I, to be fair, I was getting more excited than everyone else, I think. Like lobster vodka, like I am there. I am absolutely there. Get me on the flight. Um, so, but just gen general details that can be found on the course. And we have just said, um, Bim has just messaged saying, please, can you ask the questions, the quiz questions again? Um, so I don't, if you... It's Absolutely. Just, uh, I can run through them really quickly. Yeah. So the, the quiz question one, which two provinces share the Bay of Fundy? A was New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. 
B, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, or C, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador? Yeah. And quick quiz question two, uh, which province in Atlantic Canada offers the majestic iceberg viewing? A, Nova Scotia, B, New Brunswick, C, Newfoundland and Labrador, or D, Prince Edward Island? And quiz question three, Atlantic Canada is world famous for its fresh and abundant seafood. Which of the popular, following popular shellfish is Atlantic Canada's most valuable seafood export? A, mussels, B, lobster, C, scallops. Very good, have you had many replies as yet, Kelly? Just one so far. Oh, that must be the winner. <laughs> Is it <Okay>. correct though? <laughs> so come on guys, get your emails into Keely. So the email address can be found in the chat. So it's kkeith at taipei.pe.ca. So that's in the chat if you want to um, send your answers over. Um, you've got a few minutes to do so and then Keely's going to pick a winner. She's going to be exciting. <laughs> So Kelly, what would you say are the most um, popular attractions uh, generally? So you went through so many different activities that you could do. And I know, Sean, that you probably did most of them when you went there on your dream trip. <laughs> um, I, I don't know which ones you enjoyed the most, but uh, yeah, I just wondered what, what were the most popular and, you know, what's, what was really good? Well, I think I hit the highlights in the presentation, but a lot of people will come to Atlantic Canada really for the culinary experience and the seafood just because it's so plentiful. And um, also what's served in the restaurants that evening was caught fresh that day. So it, it absolutely cannot get any fresher. And people always say that we have really good value for our seafood because it doesn't have to be shipped you know, to great lengths to get it to the restaurant. So the seafood, um, also just the fantastic seaside experiences. A lot of people don't realize that, first of all, we have warm water for swimming in the summertime months. People hear Atlantic Ocean and they think cold, but really you can go swimming anytime from toward the end of June and well into September. And it's just beautiful. We have gorgeous beaches that are uncrowded um, and that's important too, because you know, you can walk for kilometers on the beach and really run into hardly any people. So it's a really nice place just to relax and not be surrounded by a ton of people. Then we have all, in a typical year, we have all kinds of great festivals. So whether it's cultural, musical, um, and also a lot of culinary festivals. And then our national parks are a big draw. So we do have eight in the region. Um, we have a number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the region. And as I mentioned, the stargazing is becoming increasingly popular. Mm. Um, we do have some urban experiences. I mean, we don't have the cities that the UK would have, but Halifax, for instance, is our largest city in Atlantic Canada. And we have cities in the other provinces too that just offer kind of a, um, a lot of big city experiences with shopping, amazing restaurants, um, but at the same time, it has more of a small town feel. And then I think one of the most important things about Atlantic Canada to remember is that the people are very welcoming and friendly. Um, tourism is very important to our region in Atlantic Canada, so we love to see people visiting us. And it's been a quiet year here, of course, um, so we're spending a lot of time vacationing. Uh, staycationing within our own provinces and we're missing the tourists definitely. Mm. yeah I bet you are I know yeah. it's difficult times so I think while you check your emails then Kelly to see if we can come up with some winners Sean do you want to say what you enjoyed the most when you went on your trip um I think just to re actually I'm just looking at my tv screen now and the restaurant from um Le Couvel restaurant where we went to the vineyards oh that was surprised me i didn't realize there'd be vineyards in nova scotia yeah as kelly said the you know the the, the seas warm up so the, the the weather is actually um ideal for growing grapes mm. um i loved going to the small seaside towns. i love going to lunenburg i love going to Mahone bay um 
having flown from London, uh, clearly the accent is Irish, but living in London, it was so nice just to get away to that slower pace of life. Um, the nature was fantastic. Going to see Peggy's Cove, the lighthouse there was just, you just think, oh, it's a lighthouse, but it's not just a lighthouse. It's so iconic. Um, and Halifax, it's a fantastic city. Um, uh, great restaurants there. Um, we went to um, the, the museum. What was it? the name of that in Halifax? It's like it's like the Ellis Island of Canada. So it's, mm. we learned all about the immigrants who arrived in from Europe and how these massive ships came. And when they when they um, came off the, the ships, they went through their you know their questionnaires, their medicals, and then they were put onto these trains and sent west. And it's how Canada was was settled, and there's so much history there as well. I think in in Atlantic Canada, um, I loved it. Absolutely, can't wait to go back. Loved it, loved it, loved it. We ran a fam trip to um, um, Nova Scotia last year, and I was supposed to go, but my colleague from our Dublin office went instead because I, I I had to go to head office in Calgary, and I was gutted. I really <laughs> gutted. I wanted to go back so badly. Oh. And it's closer than you think. You know, from Glasgow, it's just under five hours. From London, it's just over the over the five hours. Yeah, that is interesting. It is closer yeah. than you think. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So let's hope we can get fam trips back. Um, certainly next year. <laughs> Whether it can be this year, I'm probably think not. But um, yeah, we don't we really miss the fam trips. Right. Okay. So Kelly, are you now ready to announce the winners? Are we going to do a? I'm ready. So, okay, so the first person to email me the correct answers was Julie Amos, who's a personal travel consultant. Uh, so Julie will be in touch. You have won the 100 pound uh, gift voucher to Burger and Lobster. Congratulations <laughs> on getting the answers correctly and getting to them to me quickly. And the next three people will win the WestJet travel mugs, which Sean will send directly to you. So uh, the second is uh, Solit Travel. Lydia Solit, sorry, Lydia Solit with Travel Counselors. Wow. The third is Peter Foster with the Travel Guy. Brilliant. And the fourth is Andrew Fox with travel something i forgot <laughs> well, well done to everybody congratulations and i have a lot of responses now so it just depended on how quickly you got those to me so thank you so much that was a lot of fun yeah absolutely well thank you all so much for presenting uh, all the way from canada today the, the wonderful dish that uh chef Alain put together for west jet west jet for the updates on flights and of course to you kelly for bringing it all together and showing us the beautiful atlantic canada and to everyone out there that joined us and took the time to be with us at three o'clock today really appreciate your time hope you've enjoyed it and uh yeah let, let's get some customers going to atlantic canada That's so it's right. goodbye from me from o TT. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone.